Hello everyone, Leah here, and in today's Taking Time to Relax with an Art Time Lapse, I want to show you how you can use affirmation cards during your healing with art time. First, what I like to do is cleanse my space and get rid of any negative energy. I do that by using crystals that call to me and represent what I need, as well as using a belt. So I use sound to chase away negative energy. And as I'm doing this, I also like to focus my mind and my breathing and bring in light and good energy and chase away any negative energy. So first, with my affirmation cards, I shuffle them and then I'm going to lay them out and select a card that calls to me. There are many ways that you can do this and I am going to discuss other alternative options, but this is how I went about it on this day. I spread out the cards. I focused on my breathing. And I brought my hands across them. And I stopped right when I was starting to feel like this is the one. So the affirmation that I'm going to be working with is today I am patient with myself and with those who surround me. Once I've pulled the affirmation for my Healing with Art session, I like to create an environment that is conducive to creating and giving flow to that creation. So I pre-gather all the supplies that I'm going to be using and set it up in a way that makes it, you know, easy access. I also sometimes like to write my affirmation down in my art journal for that day's session. So as you can see right now, I'm writing in it in the inside of the book at the far side, but you yourself can write it anywhere you'd like on the page. In fact, if you feel like it, you can even make it kind of like the focus of your session. Have the words visible, centered in the page, and do all your artwork and creation around it. Or if you'd like to use that affirmation as a um, starting point for expressing your emotions, you can even cover it lay it down and then paint over top of it. You may be wondering what is an affirmation and how do I go about finding one that's right for me? Affirmations are positive statements that encourage positive thinking, that provide calmness, they boost confidence, and they provide a, a, um, a statement that helps bring a peaceful state of mind. They help challenge and overcome sabotaging negative thoughts. Uh, affirmations help you conquer feelings of panic, stress, and doubt. You can find affirmations in several places. One of them that is my favorite go-to is actually having a physical deck of cards that are dedicated to positive affirmations. I myself has have created the deck Blue Serenity that you saw earlier on in this video. I'm actually going to be creating a separate video about Blue Serenity and showcasing it. So if you are interested in that and in this type of um, topic, hit the subscribe button and then you'll be notified when that video goes up. Um, other places that you can find affirmations are on social media. Though, as I've mentioned before, social media isn't always a healthy place for those of us with anxiety, stress, and mental health issues. But there are a lot of accounts out there that provide healthy environments that um, also share positive affirmations for you. So you can find them on places like that. You may even find uh, positive affirmations on, say, for example, um, Pinterest, you know, you type in positive affirmations and several of them will come up in that search feed. Affirmations are advertised as things that you use 
at the beginning of the day to carry around with you throughout the day. And it's true, you can use affirmations for that, but they have multiple purposes that you can use throughout your day, your week, and your healing practice. One of them is using it like I show here today, like what our discussion is, how to use affirmations during your healing with art time. And how you can go about that is by using that affirmation as a mantra that you repeat to yourself during your session. So you use it as a focal point for your mind to focus on that positive statement to give you clarity and strength and boost your um, your mental state. You may also use affirmations as a focusing point for exploring your emotions and expressing them through the art that you're creating. Use it as a point to um, think of something that may have occurred or an emotion or an event that you want to express. I've learned through personal experience the benefits of combining the usage of affirmations and art. They really do help. I find with especially when I'm feeling extremely stressed when my anxiety is spiking having affirmations being able to have a focal point for my mind to focus on to give me strength and motivation and things like that to be extremely helpful when you're pulling an affirmation card from a deck there are different ways that you can go about doing it At the beginning of the video, you saw me clear my space of all negativity and then shuffle the cards and spread them out and not be able to see the cards themselves. What you can do yourself, honestly, is if you're feeling the need to sit down, you're feeling a specific emotion and you need something and you're looking for something, don't search for a card blindly. Look at each card and pull the one that is calling to you that day through the message it is giving you. Read the cards, look at them, and pick the card itself. We are about to reach the end of the video and I don't want to run out of time before I get to saying this. I want to start off by saying thank you so much for being a part of today's discussion and if you have any comments or questions, leave it in the comment section below and let's make this a positive environment for discussing any anxiety and stress and if you've had any experience with using affirmations or if you're even interested in bringing this into your practice for healing. As I mentioned earlier, Blue Serenity is a deck that I am personally designing and about to put on Kickstarter. If you're interested in it, I have a couple of links that I'm going to share in the comment, in, not in the comment section, sorry, in the description section as more videos are going to be coming out on my YouTube channel showcasing the deck as well. Before I sign off, let's take two seconds to take a deep breath in, drawing in positive energy, and let's release that air as we shake off any negativity that we may be holding inside, shake out our fingers, our hands, our limbs, our our legs, our toes. All right, guys, until next time, stay magical.